Damon McEnany, hello and welcome. Nothing but clear skies for players and fans alike here at the Cathedral. Should be a clear night. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Cleveland State Lacrosse, Vikings, Dynasty, and Casey Powell Lacrosse 18. I have not made a video in about a month, but uh, currently we're doing the NCAA tournament in real life. I just watched some of the uh, quarterfinal games earlier, so I was in the mood to do one of these videos. Uh, amazing games today. Um, it was the the games in uh, West Hempstead, New York. So Virginia beating uh, Maryland in overtime and also Duke beating Notre Dame in overtime to make the final four. Uh, both games really good. Um, the tournament's been uh, really fun to watch so far just in general. We get to start this game off with a goal. Um, yeah. I hope you guys are all enjoying that. If you're fans of college lacrosse, we have to knock the ball out of there. Brad will come the away with opportunity it. Now. The statesmen are off to a pretty decent start in this, this season. It looked like they were uh, three and one coming into this game. Uh, and we're four and zero, obviously. If we, we get our second goal right there. Um, got our nice win in the last game against Duke. And we're just gonna look to keep this winning streak going. Play resumes. We're underway again here at the Cathedral. Schwartz wins it for the home team. Thirty-eight. Shoots and wide. Shot wide there. Simon rolls on through, creates some space. Simon gets in. And oh, really deep Save. shot that time. He's good. The away team will get a chance now. Braswell. Steps in and shoots. The ball goes nice save by uh, their goalie that time. Simon. Simon. Crowget with time and room. John chalks up a save. Stop up the terrain. Are able to clear it. Atkerson, Atkerson shoots. That's gone wide. The goalie's kicking the ball around. He gets the ball back. Wasserman. A hole lay in the wood that time. Nice check. With a display of raw power. McCall, McCall wants it. And straight to the keeper. Solid play uh, from Tristan John so far. That was good to see. So we're able to clear that. Ten and score. Uh, it's just fed the open man. The Beautiful. Team, they've taken it up a notch. And that'll put the Vikings up three zip over the statesman. If you can win face offs, you're in good shape. Conrad gets in first, and the away team have the advantage. Green snags that one. Drops it to Ackerson. Riley collects. With the bullet shot. Nice. Takes advantage. I was a little worried I might uh, drop That's the ball right there. I think I took a took a check in the back. We we're able well, to so find the space. These two teams so far in terms go up four zip. From the face -off. No significant difference in win percentages there. Every face off is important. Let's see who comes away yeah, with Conrad it. winning that uh, face off cleanly. It, and the away team goes straight on attack. 
six. Dodging. It's like a slow motion dodge. Here's a look. Too wide on that shot. Quality shots wide, but we'll get the ball back. Nice terrain. Oh man, didn't anticipate the cut in time. That's gonna be a turnover. Ball back to Hobart. Oh, they get their first goal of the game. McKinney from the right side. Oh, it was a bounce shot, too. It was a nice shot. So after that one, it was 4-1 to one Cleveland State. Getting the faceoff. Dumped to John Everett. Drops the hammer. Ever and he just charges in and, sc and scores. Explosive. Love the long stick goals. Goal. I mean, I could tell I had a step on the defender, so pretty much just decided I'm just going to charge. Just uh, let it fly. We are ready to resume play. It's 5 1 for the away team. Nice win on the face. Conrad off. winning Conrad it, digging it out. out on top. Here's Ackerson, get the clear. Ten. Feeds Ferris. Oh, up top to Prowse. Oh, beautiful ball movement that time. Just really moving, moving the ball around, letting everybody get a touch. We find Ackerson wide open. Take one more look at that. Schwartz at it again against Conran. Watch them scrap, even if they don't win the initial draw. Nice win on the faceoff. Nice, right, so just about a minute Comes left now. Michael Vane will slowly bring this into the zone. I'm going to back it out. Riley puts it wide. Shot wide, 42 seconds left now. We'll try and maybe start thinking about a last shot. Marin. Getting hounded up top. With the shot, saved by the goalie. Uh, Hobart might have one last look at this. Stewart. Ball stop center. Ball stop up. The freeze. Oh, oh so off the post. Close. It's hit the bar. The home team come up with it. Hard to keep the pressure on with Who just like that. just Round narrowly ball. avoided a well, goal there at the end of the quarter. To stop the flood of goals as we head to the break. But as it stands, the six to one. Um, words for his defense. Yeah, the pretty good. Team. Good effort in the first the first quarter. It's six one here at the cathedral. Back to the faceoff X for another scrap. And Conrad wins that faceoff to get us started here. Dump off to Plumer, down to Braswell. Terrain wide open on the left side. Oh, he'll just attack, not get picked up. Yeah, I don't know where his defender was, but that was a whole lot of space. Down to the face -off for a huge possession. Conran wins it for the away Conran team. wins it, McIlvain picking up the ground ball. Vikings will get right back into the offensive uh, zone. Uh, it looked to be a pretty simple pass, but we'll turn it over. McKinney with the catch. The ball goes nice, to the nice save by Christian John. Green ball. Okay. John catches that one as easy as you like. The away team to David with Jones. Cade Ferris. Yeah, I'll back it out. Oh. 
Vicious check that time. Braswell. The shot clock goes on now. And sends it loose. That's going to be a turnover. Wasserman. McCall. And he shoots. Puts it wide. Just kind of sailed that one. Pretty casual looking shot. Wasserman. He shoots and save. Totally fine with them shooting from uh, way out there. Kraus. Six. All right, Grayson Terrain gets it. Let's see if we can't set up something here. He lets it go. Uh, I probably should have just shot it with uh, Terrain, actually, instead of passing that time. Uh, Hobart just gets sloppy with Green it, ball. turns turns it back over to Cleveland State. McElveen. Cleveland State works in the clear, and we'll get it up to Le Leroy Marin. He'll dodge Marin. down the middle. Nice. Yeah, you see they did uh, pick pick me up at the very last second, but at that point it was maybe a split second too late. Here we go again. It's eight one. And I'll push our advantage to seven now. The away team wins the face off and they get a step. Now oh, we're working the ball again. His second so far in this one. Pretty identical to Walsh's first goal of the game. It's just sitting there. Splits the goalie's legs on the bounce shot. Schwartz for the home team. Nine one Cleveland State now. Just a couple minutes Here left now. First half. Nice win on the faceoff. Conran comes out on top. Oh, oh, nice. That's number two for him. More nice ball movement from the Vikings. See, their defender was just kind of flailing his stick, like behind him. We are set so he just resume. caught him totally it's out of position. One. Nice win on the faceoff. Conrad comes out on top. Terrain thinking about attacking. He's in and wide of the target. Ball's put it a little wide. Green State does have the backup. We'll just take it up top now. Braswell. We get the back door cut from Braswell. Ah, uh, not quite. Uh, lip will get chased out. The ball goes to the ground. The away team. Oh man, I can't believe Lip didn't get that. Now. Literally standing right over it. Stewart. Oh, quick thinking. John with the Pretty save. Pretty quick shot from Hobart that time. We got just under a minute left now. Cleveland State will look to clear. Get it up to Plumer. Oh, I thought Fe Ferris was going to dive down there. Looking for a quick opportunity. Ten. Oh, Ferris. Stick check in the ah, attack. Just gets hounded and turns it over. Has broken down and it's turned over. Hamill shoots. 
Oh, Ooh, off the bar. 16 seconds now for Cleveland State. See if they can maybe get a quick shot before uh, halftime. Burgoyne dumps to Walsh. Oh, had space. Inaccurate on the shot, though. Five seconds left. Maybe a quick, uh, quick one. Ah, another inaccurate. Now oh, they throw a pretty brutal check there right before halftime. So we're unable to get a, a goal at the end there, but obviously 10-1 half. We're playing some very nice defense overall. And now uh, we got good ball movement, and you can see face-off wins are at 11-2. And we're really doing a good job taking care of the ball for the most part. Had just a couple turnovers, so... Not too shabby. Uh, don't probably need to change much, Starting I don't think. I mean, Wolves look to kind of grind this one out now. Conrad gets in first, and the away team have the advantage. Lip. Brings the heat. Oh, nice. I was a little worried that defender coming over at the last second was going to block the shot. That happened uh, more than once in the last game against Duke, but Lip was able to kind of thread the needle and Set score and that time. It's 11-1 for the away team. Schwartz cinches it and the oh. home team goes Hobart straight wins this one. Puts Get behind our defense and they're going to score. Goalie. That's a beautiful goal. Yeah, we were all trailing. Not much to be done about that one, so. Ready to play. Does cut it's our advantage to uh, nine. Conrad will win this face-off. Face Great pressure, Buckley. Harassed, can't get it away. Oh man! Control of the ball. Thought Terrain was just gonna grab that. Oh, off the side of the net, I think. Red ball. Rips it in. John. Another deep shot from uh, Statesman. Game and State will look to today. slowly clear this. And that terrain finds a bunch of space. Chances. I just got a little Step caught up with my dodging. With the mistake. Kind of lost track of where I was on the field. We get the call for the crease violation. Slings it. That's gone wide. That's uh, gonna be a turnover. Oh no. Counted as a shot, I guess. I didn't quite see what was happening there. With a possible reprieve here, the pass goes wide. I was gonna say that has to be a turnover, so I can we'll get the ball back off of another sloppy pass. Hobart not playing especially well in this game, just in general. I mean, our defense has been pretty good, but they're not helping themselves much, really. Push the shot wide, but I was liking... Um, the flow that we had in offense there, moving the ball around. On oh, that one's just a layup. Ackerson is sitting in perfect position for the easy, easy score. Important faceoff again between Schwartz and Conran. Conran wins it for the away team. Riley receives the ball. To Ackerson. He'll dodge. Dave Little 
back this one out. He dodges. Ten. Knocked loose. And they get it back. And the goalie comes up with a nice stop. I'm still pleased with uh, the shot that we got there, though. I mean, it was r right in front of the net, so not every shot's going to go in, of course, even if you get good uh, positioning and everything. John stops a close shot that time. Cleveland Sale looked to clear. Everett's streaking down on no one picks him up. Oh, I didn't even um, try and go in the crease that time. I think it was just uh, maybe the animation forced him to, but it absolutely was a crease violation. So, And sure enough, they come down off of the turn turnover and uh, make us pay for it. Just going right past, I think that was Prowse. Let's see who comes away with it here. Nine goal advantage again. Conrad cinches it, and the away team goes straight on attack. Plumer finds a ton of room on the right side. He's able to clear that easily enough. Braswell. Oh my! Ho oh, ho! Braswell gets laid out. With the big hit there. With the shot, sends it too high. As a look, John catches that one as easy as you like. Oh, he's have the a horrible there. turn he's over there. A great game and goal today. With the bullet shot, John with the save. Thirty. Steps in to shoot, flies over the top. Decent look from Riley that time. It's maybe a little deep. We got about 29 seconds left, so might look to just kill this off so to make sure that Hobart doesn't get any more opportunities this uh, quarter. A whole lip found a seam though, so I couldn't turn that shot down. It's kind of like a backdoor cut. on the X now for the restart. Just 16 seconds left, so whoever wins this faceoff is going to have to work very quickly. It's the like we're going to pick it up. Wins the face -off and they get a step. Chance for a late goal here. Jones. Ah, it wasn't a great look really, but just had to get it off. So we've got just one quarter left here, uh, 13 to 3, you can see uh, Ackerson's got the hat trick. So as long as we don't really mess Play up this quarter we should be able to put this one away. The away team with possession, we are underway. Man, just an inexplicable turnover there, I mean the guy was even looking. Uh, at me that I was passing to. That well, was not how he wanted to start the uh, fourth quarter off. Ball gets knocked around in front and Tristan John comes away with it. Vikings get some pretty good ball movement in the midfield. Marin will back it out. Jones. Dump down to Jones. To Burgoyne. We'll back it out. Mary. Let's it rip to the ideal spot. And finally he find the, the open man in front. Just buries it. Here we Bottom go corner. The reset. 14 to 3 Vikings. Just a bit over four minutes left in the game. Nice win on the face-off. Schwartz. Well, Hobart wins that one. Looks to get a quick goal. 
Miscalculation there. And get called for the crease violation. It was close. Definitely would have been a goal if he uh, did not take that penalty. Six. Vikings moving the ball quickly here. Back it out. Oh, and lose the defender. Riley and oh, and once again, able to the beat the double team. They've taken it up a notch. We are set to resume. It's 15-3. Vikings starting to run away with this one. Hobart is still uh, winning faceoffs face though, so. He's in. Still giving them, themselves a chance for opportunities, and they're able to convert in that time. Fifteen to four, Schwartz Vikings. For the home team, Conran for the away team. Here again to face off. The away team wins the face off, and they get a step. To John Everett. That was. A Really dangerous pass. Walsh. Oh, snipe. Oh, and that was just total, <laughs> total gimme goal that time. That was like a triple team that was flying at me. I'll just bury that one easily past the goalie. Face off, so where teams can separate themselves. Kind of ran with another face off. Gets in first, and the away team have the advantage. Lip slowly bringing it down. And that time the shot went off the defender. Keaton State will get the ball back. You see they're sending the double team at me. Oh, another quick shot from Walsh. That one won't go though. Unlucky that time. Say he's good. The away team will get a chance now. He is on point in goal today. Up to lip. All kinds of room over there. Marion shoots and wide of the target. Wide on the shot. Cleveland State will keep it though. Sending the double team at us. Gonna move the ball around here. Just uh, winding this one down pretty much. Oh, finally we're able to get past all those double teams flying around. Terrain coming out from the kind of behind and to the side. Set and ready for the restart. It's 17-4 for the away team. Pretty solid performance from uh, Cleveland State today. Oh, I was not intending to do that. <laughs> no more giving myself compliments, I think. It just leads to instant turnover. John Everett slowly brings it into the zone. And I'll dump off to the short stick. Rips it in. Saved by the goal. I've done a really good job of forcing Hobart into long shots this game. I mean, that's like the one takeaway I'd have from um, our effort in this one. Just if we're able to do that against some other teams, it really help us out defensively. 
That's such a lower percentage shot um, when you're shooting from far away. That one gets deflected away. Be another uh, turnover. It hasn't been our cleanest game of all time, that's for sure. But um, overall, definitely a really nice um, just game for us to get back into the flow, having not played for about a month since my last video. Oh, that time we lose the man in front. See, I tried to get a stick check on him at the last second, but didn't do much. It's just 19 seconds left now. For maybe one more goal here if we can. Packed in pretty well there. Takes the shot. The ball goes to the ground. Come up with it and Walsh. Oh, did Walsh get that? Just that time expired, I think. Pretty much scooped it right on the line. Beautiful. I'm doing that not not to run the score up, um, but pretty much just uh, trying to help out our um, goal differential because that essentially what determines your standings. Cathedral. First, it goes so off of your win-loss record, down on the field. and then off of uh, yeah your plus-minus goals for goals allowed. So even if you are you know you're going to win a game, it benefits you. Um, to rack up as many goals as you can in the regular season at least but yeah nice win for Vikings today strong performance um, out of a lot of players I felt like our goalie did a really nice job yeah 64% save percentage he was doing uh, really really good work out there we had good ball movement we outpassed them it's always nice took more of the ground balls and face offs twenty one to five. So that was all that was all pretty good. Um it's like Walsh led us in goals with four and then Ackerson and Riley had three apiece. Uh but yeah that is gonna do it for this episode. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh hope you're enjoying the dynasty. We'll keep it going with another episode uh soon, hopefully sooner than a month. So uh, go Vikings thank you guys again um, definitely subs subscribe comment uh, like the videos and we'll uh, keep cranking them out alright take care guys